Hi, this is Gore. I have with me here the Produa My V 1.3 XD. So uh, with me also, I, I like to uh, with me also is this uh, radio that comes together with Produa My V Lagi Best. So let's have a walk through on this radio to see what this set is all about. So this uh, set of uh, player, which is from Beta Mac, uh, is is found on Produa My V Lagi Best Edition. Typically, the 1.3 standard. 1.3 premium 1.3 se in the latest uh, uh editions and uh the 1.3 xt like in this one there are two kinds of uh there are two variants to this radio there's one with a blue light and the other one is the amber light like this kind so this with the amber light uh they i suppose they are used to match uh this down here which is the amber meter version so uh, these amber versions uh, if they are found on Perora Myvi 1.3 standard edition uh, typically the SX and then the EZ edition they do not have uh, <coughs> they do not have Bluetooth they do not have the USB uh, player uh, until the Myvi 1.3 XT comes along the Perora decide to give uh, to uh, have this one, have the USB and also have the Bluetooth on this player itself. So this player here is from Produa Myvi 1.3 XT. So there is a USB. So this player plays USB. You can plug in a USB uh, thumb drive here and it plays MP3 or whatever songs from the MP from the uh, USB drive. It has Bluetooth connectivity. It plays a CD. Uh, there is also MP3 CD able to play. WMA and also compact this and of course uh, it plays radio uh, too so uh, this one is a power button so you can press the power button to turn up the sorry to turn up the to turn on the player itself and if it's a CD you can just e push in the CD and then the CD will start to play now once you play CD you can use these two buttons to actually go forward and backward that means forward and extract uh, this one go to previous track and then if we use mp3 cd then i suppose you can actually go for folder up folder down uh, scan repeat and also randomize too okay now um, <clears throat> so uh, we'll have a look at that one later then uh, down here there's the eject button so press on it to eject the cd out from the player itself then uh, the caller id button and the bluetooth will cover a bit later uh, there's a clock button down here. So the clock button is used to adjust the clock on the on this player itself um, So press the clock button Then when the beep and the clock begins to to beep then you can actually adjust the uh, Hour by turning this knob here Pressing the clock button one more time. You will you will, the minute field will be blinking so you can use this to adjust the minute field when you're done you can either leave it uh, idle a while or you can press the clock button to return back to this display down here so you see down here after you don't touch a while if you if you leave the thing alone it will return back to clock okay this is the selection selection in the allow you to uh, set the balance balance and then uh, fader <coughs> down here so uh, select balance left and right left speak left side right side and then center then select one more time you go to fader fader rear or front so go to, yeah so fader front front means the sound come from there and there and then this is the rear and then you can send it back to um send it back to zero if one I normally what I do is I set to reverse 2, I uh, set to R2 because the speakers for the rear come from behind on the door on the door trim over there. So uh, I leave it R2 so that uh, easy so that the I can also hear the speaker from the rear as well. This is what you call band, band button. So band button allow you to switch between your FM uh, channel, your AM as well. So this one actually act as a, a mode button like in some, some other player. So if you have a USB attached, then switching the 
Ben will actually uh, set the uh, will actually switch it to USB and as well. So uh, this radio has one, two, three, three FM band, FM band one, FM two, FM three. Each FM band has six preset memory that you can do. So memory one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that is the thing. So press and hold down. Uh, it will automatic seek. AS stand for automatic seek. So it will seek all the station uh, in the vicinity and then program them all into the memory. Okay, that's the uh, AS automatic seek. So right now I have some channels already uh, programmed. So channel 1, channel 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, and 6. So you may repeat for FM2 if you want and then press the alternate automatic seek. It will seek everything and then it will program everything back in. But uh, there's no telling what you what station you'll be programmed in because whenever whatever channel uh, whatever station the, the player finds it will just program into the memory. So you see now it's another other set of channel already. Huh? Okay, however, uh, this this thing you can be tuned manually so uh, locate the FM band that you want okay then um, use these two seek button to look for the station you can either do manual seek like this or you can press this button here to auto automatic searching okay find the frequency that I want so when I found the frequency that I want I just press and hold on the memory so the memory uh, memory 1 is assigned to this frequency and then you can do the same for frequency 2, frequency 3, 4, 5 and 6 so I've done for 2 I've done for I've done for 3 oh 2 and 3 same uh. oh okay never mind I can configure this one again oh I can't seem to find this one oh this one don't have okay so uh, find the frequency you can find it manually if I want if you want so to find the frequency manually just like that tune and then when you found it then you just press and hold down then once the beep is heard the radio station already programmed into memory so you can repeat for FM1 FM2 FM3 and even the AM band uh, AM band also uh, present AM band has six memory preset because there's only one band only. AM only, there's no AM1, AM2, uh, not like FM. Uh. FM got FM1, 2, 3. AM band only has one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six memory for AM band. So AM, AM is called amplitude modulation. As if you live in Malaysia during, if you are around in Malaysia, if you have grown up in Malaysia during the 1950s, 1960s, and up to the 1980s, most radio, most radio stations in Malaysia uh, broadcast using uh, AM band then uh, in the early 1990s they begin to cut to FM as what we know today then uh, this one here is a play and pause button and also down here it says A2DP A2DP meaning that you press this one to switch to Bluetooth mode so when you got something in Bluetooth then you can see from here you can press this one so uh, pressing this one switch to Bluetooth but I haven't got anything attached so nothing changes play and pause button and then for Bluetooth this is USB select here to go to USB mode and then this is the play and pause button okay then this is CD press this mode to go to CD and then this one down here is called your uh, graphic equalizer so graphic equalizer EQ manual so uh, Oh, sorry. EQ manual. Yes, you can select the uh, equalizer. Equalizer, go to manual. I thought can adjust, but I did adjust. So, clear. Clear is... Uh, let's see whether it got sunny thing. Let's play something. Uh. Oh, sorry. AM band. Let's play something. So, this is the bass. Loudness and then manual okay so manual uh, so there are four manual allows you to set the uh, graphic equalizer manually and then they are all one two three 
uh, preset for uh, automatic set graphic equalizer. This is the mute button. So that means if you are playing the radio like this, mute. If you want to talk to your friend, and then once you, uh, then you can press again to unmute. In that case, okay. So that's the radio, and then uh, once you have plug in your USB. Uh, thumb your USB drive into the player the player should automatically turn on by itself then you can use these buttons down here to adjust the uh, display of on the screen down here this one is what you call a display button so that means setting it pressing it it will uh, it will switch to you switch the display from time maybe to file name and so on so uh, I have included at the link at the bottom of this at the bottom later uh, the link to my the other to my my V icon uh, player review uh, that player actually I bought along a thumb drive uh, I'm I I don't have it with me right now because I'm uh, I'm in Langkawi uh, on my holidays and uh, I didn't expect to get this car I thought maybe I'll get the my V icon standard G edition but I, I was given this one by the car renter so I didn't come to Langkawi with my thumb drive. So, uh, for this player itself, I will include uh, the link at the bottom so that you can see how this is done on the uh, MyV Icon Radio. MyV Icon Radio and this one is almost the same, come from the same make, except that this is the earlier model, I presume, uh, and then the MyV Icon will probably later model. So, this button changes the display from time display to, uh, let me from tracks elapsed time to folder to title and so on. This button brings up the folder, I mean goes up uh, from folder 1, press go to folder 2, press go to folder 3. This one, down means from folder 3 you press 1, go to folder 2, folder 1, then the root folder and then you go to the uh, the last folder maybe. Uh, depends on how many folders you have on your uh, thumb drive. This is SCN which is called scan mode, that means once you activate scan mode, it plays, uh, the, the, plays a song for a few seconds then it goes to the next song plays a few seconds the next song a few seconds and so on this is what you call repeat mode repeat mode means when you press the repeat mode on it repeat it repeatedly plays that track or that that file itself on the thumb drive okay and then press again to remove the repeat mode rdm this is called randomize so press uh, one time to activate so when you have pressed the RDM button to activate the randomize randomization on that means when you play let's say folder 2 song 1 then the next song may the next song may not be song 2 it could be song number 15 in uh, folder 69 then the next song may probably folder 10 song number 2 so this is what it call randomization and then press a second time to uh, turn off the randomization uh, let me prepare my phone so that we can pair the phone to this player and uh, we will see how the Bluetooth works. Okay, just hang on a while. Okay, uh, to look at the Bluetooth, uh, to activate the Bluetooth, press this button and hold it down until the phone beep three times. Uh, sorry, until the player beep three times. When you show pairing, Go to your phone and quickly find the player is find the, the the player itself. Okay, I think I found it. I think this is the one. I think yeah, Bluetooth car kit. Okay, it says connecting. So now is the player shows connected. So the player shows connected, that means now my, my phone is now connected and then it shows down there automatic answer. Um, automatic answer means uh, if anyone calls me during the, during, uh, right now, okay, uh, the radio will pause, the phone rings and then the phone automatic picks up after a while. So let's simulate uh, somebody calling me. Okay, somebody is calling me now. Okay, the uh, 
testing one one two so the sound comes from that speaker over there okay you see uh, the phone has already automatic pickup uh, I, I better cut the call because if I don't cut the call I get echo so that is what you call the call automatic answer now uh, pressing this button with the Bluetooth connected it will set to manual answer now let's see what happened uh, in manual answer now somebody is calling me again on this phone um, I'm actually calling myself I have Okay, you see the phone number appearing. <clears throat> now you see uh, the phone that doesn't pick up. The call doesn't get picked up. You must go to your phone and then tap the answer button to answer. Okay, so that's why I call manual answer. Okay, manual answer means uh, the phone, the, the, the player doesn't uh, pick up the call. You have to pick up the call manually on the phone itself. So normally, what I do is, I leave it at automatic answer. Okay, just now when the phone calls, when 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 someone call me, you see the phone number appearing like this. Okay, you see uh, the phone number appearing uh, like this. Uh. Okay. So that means uh, caller ID is on. So you see here, caller ID button. Press the caller ID. Caller ID is now switched to off. When you switch off the caller ID, and if somebody calls you on the phone, on the, you won't see, you won't show the number. You just show call in. So not very, not very friendly, not very user friendly. So what I normally do is I press this button, and then I say caller ID on, so that when when there's an incoming call, you can see the number. Okay, you can see the telephone number showing that uh, the number is actually uh, calling me. Okay, so that's the, the that's how it goes. Then when you are in the call, <coughs> okay, when you're in the call, so what you do is uh, this. Uh, so speak directly uh, towards this uh, microphone here because this one is the microphone for uh, for the Bluetooth itself. So um, there's a mic down here, so speak towards this mic. So make sure you keep this area clean and then make sure it's not covered by dust and so on because it may hamper microphone uh, operation if this, is, this part here is dirty itself. Okay, so that's how uh, that's how uh, this player works so uh, unfortunately during the call only this speaker would work because only this speaker uh, is nearest to the driver so the the caller sound will come out from that a uh, caller voice will come out from that speaker over there only okay uh, I so uh, this is all for this uh, video review so I hope this video really helps uh, till my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.